you're supporting something that chews up birds because a frog one day might be upset. I'm not sure. But let me go to your point to, uh, to Gary there. Uh, uh, Gary Burgess, you just heard yeah. Dave said he doesn't care about the yeah. aesthetics, he doesn't care about how yeah. they look. Yeah. I yeah. certainly do. Do you? Yes. Yeah, no, we, uh, the visual amenity is very important. Why do people live in rural areas? I mean, this whole thing has, has got no consent from the community. There's no social licence for this whatsoever. It is just an impingement on our local community. Who People have come to the bush and homesteaded, raised their children, and we want to see hills. We don't want to see turbines. And at night time, we definitely don't want to see this. And this is, and Chalumban is now going to be three times bigger. And so all around Ravenshoe, there's going to be this ethereal sort of Hadean glow at night time. Again, all these studies that they did for the, um, you know, for the PER to come out, they didn't realise that this light pollution was another effort. And of course, how do you do a field study? study on night pollution has not been done. How do you do a field study on species where the seasons change? They might do a field study as they did for the Chilumban thing for what, one and a half years of field studies. That is not enough. That's not a baseline. A baseline takes into account the whole of the ecology and the seasons. We, our seasons will have dry seasons, we'll have wet seasons, high rainfall, we'll have bushfires, we'll have different flowering of our melaleucas, different and flowering of our eucalypts and all that. How do you squeeze well, that into a, a, a survey that just goes for a year and a half? So we don't well, know the impact on ugly. all this. And, uh, just I've assume. seen what they've done to landscape uh, around my aunt's place in Holland uh, and I don't want to wish that for Australia. But look, can I just thank you both? Dave Copeman, I know it would have, you know, you would have had people in your office saying don't go on Bolts Report. So uh, I appreciate you coming on and uh, being open to a civil debate. I appreciate that. Dave Copeland no, and Gary Burgess, thank you both. Uh, thank, thank you very you. much.